statins are the gold standard medication for reducing the risk of cardiac events in those with dangerously high cholesterol levels. Nearly 100 million people have been treated with statins. This widespread use uncovered evidence that statins offer several anti-cancer benefits that are encouraging experts to repurpose the medication for cancer prevention and treatment. This video reviews the latest evidence of anti-cancer activity that has shown statins may help restrict tumor growth, inhibit metastasis, trigger cancer cell death, and prevent cancer recurrence. Let's get started. Hello, I am Alina Ivanova, the Medical Director of Personalized Medicine. For over 35 years, statins have been the go-to medication to treat patients with high cholesterol levels to reduce risk of cardiac disease. However, in the last decade, researchers have confirmed that statins not only reduce cholesterol and improve cardiovascular risk, but they also demonstrate anti-cancer properties that have appeared to improve outcomes for many cancer patients. The largest study investigating the impact of statins on cancer included over 1.1 million cancer patients. It showed that the use of statins tremendously helped this group. Researchers observed an astounding 40% reduction of deaths from cancer. These realizations encouraged many researchers to uncover what specific anti-cancer activities statins provided to patients. Studies over the last decade have garnered evidence that help explain how statins have shown to prevent tumor growth, trigger cancer cell death, and protect against recurrence. Let's take a look at the most commonly observed anti-cancer effects. Statins induce ferroptosis. Ferroptosis is a type of programmed cell death that is dependent on the existence and involvement of iron inside the cell. It was only recently, just in 2012, that we discovered key features of ferroptosis that have spurred developments towards exploiting this activity as a cancer therapy. Many studies have shown that statins can induce ferroptosis in a variety of cancer cell types. Moreover, a study released in June of 2022 indicates that statins stand out as a promising therapeutic that can trigger this type of cell death in chemo-resistant cancer cells. Statin target the tumor micro microenvironment. The tumor microenvironment, commonly referred to as TME, consists of a complex ecosystem of non-cancerous cells that surround a tumor. Cancer's ability to manipulate and utilize resources in the TME result in tumor initiation, cancer progression, metastasis to distant size, and its ability to resist chemotherapy. Fortunately, statins have shown an ability to impact multiple metabolic pathways in the TME that are used by cancer cells. Here are three examples. Statins significantly reduce fatty acid concentrations in the TME, depriving cancer cells of an important resource. Statins interfere with the ability of cancer cells to use the mevalonate pathway, helping to deprive them of important metabolites. Studies show this imposes oxidative stress on cancer cells, contributing to cell death and improving the efficacy of chemotherapy. Statins also increase the activity of the cancer-fighting immune system in the TME. Specifically, T cells and natural killer cells are found to get a boost from statins. Now, statins inhibit angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the formation of new blood vessels from pre-existing vessels. This biological event is required for cancer growth and metastasis. Several clinical studies show that statins have a powerful anti-angiogenic effect on many cancer cells. In some cases, contributing to an 88% disease control rate. Statins target cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are self-renewing malignant and oncogenic cells that drive tumor initiation and progression. Cancer stem cells are believed to multiply indefinitely 
are responsible for the development of highly metastatic cells that spread to other parts of the body, are resistant to chemo and radiotherapy, and are thought to be responsible for cancer relapse after standard therapy-induced remission. Many studies have shown that statins have several ways to target and disrupt cancer stem cells. Methods include inhibiting use of the mevalonate pathway and critical proteins. This anti-cancer stem cell activity may help prevent metastasis, sensitize cancer stem cells to chemotherapeutics and other cancer treatments, as well as prevent cancer recurrence. We possess an abundance of evidence that shows statins can play a role in treating and preventing cancer, but it can't do it alone. The evidence suggests Statins work best as a component in therapies that include other safe medications, supplements, and nutritional approaches that seek to overwhelm cancer. Here's a quick recap of how statins can help in the fight against cancer. Statins trigger programmed cell deaths via ferroptosis and apoptosis. They disrupt the ability to use resources in the tumor microenvironment prevent formation of new blood vessels that drive growth, and statins target cancer stem cells, which can prevent cancer growth and recurrence. Since statins have been used by nearly 100 million people, it has been proven safe to be taken alongside standard cancer treatments like chemo, radiation, and immunotherapy. Now, most statins are off patent. This makes it low cost and widely available. But this also means pharmaceutical companies have no financial incentive to seek FDA approval for statins as a cancer treatment. Patients will need to work with a licensed medical provider to obtain a prescription and gain monitored use. There is a link in the video description for those interested in seeking a consultation to incorporate statins into their treatment. As always, you can check out the description to find links to the referenced articles and other resources that could be helpful. We hope you found this information useful. If so, please like the video and choose to share it with others that can benefit. We thank you for watching our video and we wish you the best of health. Stay strong and informed.